What is up guys and it is ZFX Essence and welcome back to Banished. Alright guys, this is the third tutorial now, so third part and as you can see there's only four. We are going to produce some food. Ah, uh, food, precious food, I love food. Oh, sheeps! Oh my god. I like sheeps. I fucking love sheep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sheep says my favorite animal. Animal. Oh my god, that came out so wrong. Um, I like sheep because <sighs> I don't want to explain this. Don't get me wrong, guys. <laughs> don't get wrong thoughts about me. Anyway, moving on. Uh, produce food for the citizens of your town. Uh, several foods, hunting, fishing, and gathering from the forest. Um, and you can clear the land and plant orchard orchards, grow crops, and raise livestock. Life stock. <laughs> Food production. A pasture. What's a pasture? Pasture. Pasture cannot be. What's a pasture? What is a pasture? Provides an area for livestock to graze. What's livestock? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. A uh, hunting cabin. I know what a hunting cabin is. It's like uh, this uh, little house where people, hunters, live in. What's this? A crop field because uh, we need to farm and an orchard to put. to put trees, fruit trees. Um, select the crop field by clicking on it. Why? Oh, because this sign means it's disabled. Of course, we need to say what we want to put on it. Potato, wheat or corn? Corn, potato, wheat. Corn, potato, wheat. Corn, potato, wheat. I like potatoes, I like wheat. But I want to have some popcorn, so let's make some corn. Uh, assign workers so this is like the harvest button what does it do in spring will workers will plant seeds in the field and in autumn they will harvest the crops okay but you can direct them to harvest early by selecting harvest oh I know what you mean after planting the yield meter will show how mature the growing plants are and can be used in the gog to term how much food will be produced the better the yield the better for me you can disable enable work okay I think uh, orchard apple pier apple pier I like apples but I love apples the sign I hope you don't get copyrighted by this for by Apple because they're kind of keen on their copyrights there yeah yeah Watch out the uh, game makers, I forgot who, I think it's Shining Rock makers, watch out for that. You will see, look your mailbox. <laughs> um, anyway, they will plant trees and they will grow. Um, what I like about this game is like several buildings do several tasks, but if they are like the same type of building, you have like the same type of actions you can do on it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we can cut down trees for wood or to produce a different type of fruit. And we can enable disable the work like the crop fields. Yeah, doing it this way makes the game so much easier because um, I know like from Anno 2007, 20 2070 that you have so many buildings and yet every building can be can be controlled differently and they go so detailed in it that, is, that you almost use control of the game and that's my main problem when playing games like this yet I love to play games like this so they have really done a good job on making this the game simple yet challenging um, so yeah yield we'll say how much we will yield select the pasture on clicking it so now it's ready and we can choose sheeps yes we will put sheeps in it 
Assign workers, there we go. Um, empty. If you want to sh move all animals from this pasture into another pasture, you can press the empty button. That is logic. To do this, you have to create another pasture that can hold all animals. Alright. We can also split this to do other animals, I guess. Yeah. To do this, you'll have to ha have space in other pastures that can hold the animals. Alright. And we can enable or disable the workers. However, wait, if the pasture isn't wor being worked, the animals will continue to grow, but they won't reproduce as quickly. So I guess it's best to let some people work at it. And if there are too many animals in the pasture, the herdsmen will slaughter them for meat. Awesome. You can control how many animals are kept in the pasture by changing the value of this slider. This allows you to quickly gain meat for food if the supply... What? What did that? How can you, if you can go f through that, <sighs> you need to fix this game. Sheep cannot move through fences. No, it does not work. This is scaring because then they can they can go out. So that's not good. Don't smash my wheat. Don't stupid sheep. Okay, so this allows you to quickly gain meat for food if the supplies run slow. Hmm, that's quick. That's good thinking. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, the hunting cabin. Click, click, click. Hunters will search the area around the hunting cabin in search of wild, of wild game. Wild game. Hmm, deer, I think. Uh, hunting deer can provide leather, which can be used by tailors to make clothes. Oh yeah. Um, the tailor, of course. Enable, disable, alright. Uh, food limit is like 5000, it's okay, I will let it. Um, gatherer's hut, I. Pff. Ah, just like the, the hunting cabin, awesome. And the fishing hut, what is this? Ah, yeah, this is like the where they get all the fish. Each building that produces goods tracks how many resources are produced each year. Oh, so show our height production statistics Woo! previous season we had 556 fish and now we have 241 wait how far are we we are summer so summer that's like the second quarter um, I think we're yeah we're producing more than the previous seasons since divided by 2 is 2 Hundred and eighty, and we are still in summer. What's the seven currency and number of years to the town has? Oh, this town exists already seven years. Wow. Um, all right, so we're good. We're producing more than last year, if I recall good. Next, so yeah, this is the value of leaves this season. As the population grows, you'll need to expand food production to keep the cities from starving. That is obvious. But I don't want to starve because. I got a brother and another sister and again two brothers and producing a variety of food types will help keep the citizens happy and healthy that is what we learned from the herbalists press next to play the next tutorial oh so this is the end and uh, press quit yeah, oh yes. why do I read this I do not need you oh look my crops they are so nice this year. Alright. Hey sheepy sheepy. So yeah, this is going to be the end of uh, food production. And uh, yep guys, I will see you in the next episode. The final tutorial of Banished. And after this, we will grow our own town. I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!